choke coil hi everyone in today's class let's discuss how to measure the resistance impedance and inductance of the choke coil in different combinations objective at the end of this video you will be able to connect the coils in series and parallel measure the resistance of the choke coil measure the impedance and inductance of the choke coil let us discuss on resistance and impedance of choke coil resistance of choke coil the resistance of a choke coil refers to the opposition that the coil offers to the flow of direct current dc this resistance arises from the wire used to create the coil and it can cause a voltage drop across the coil when current flows through it this voltage drops due to resistance results in the dissipation of energy in the form of heat the resistance of a choke coil is typically low and is mostly relevant when direct current is passing through the coil impedance of choke coil impedance on the other hand is a broader concept that includes both resistance and reactance the opposition to alternating current in the case of a choke coil impedance takes into account not only the resistance of the coil but also the reactance due to its inductance choke coils are primarily used in circuits with alternating current ac where the changing current generates a changing magnetic field around the coil the inductance of the choke coil causes the reactance which is essentially the opposition to the change in current unlike resistance reactance doesn't lead to energy loss as heat but rather affects the phase relationship between current and voltage in the circuit z is equal to under root r square plus x square let us discuss how to measure the resistance in a given choke coil take a tube light choke coil connect a 12 volt battery a switch s tube light choke and a moving coil ammeter ranging from 0 to 500 milliamperes all in series connect a moving coil voltmeter in parallel to the circuit after the switch ranging from 0 to 15 volts close the switch s note the readings from the ammeter and voltmeter and substitute the values in the ohms formula r is equal to v by i you can also verify the calculated readings using a multimeter set the multimeter in resistance mode at a low range and place the multimeter probes between the terminals of the choke coils ensure both resistance values readings are equal let us measure the resistance of two coils connected in series take two choke coils each with 40 watts connect them in series connect the 12 volt battery a switch an ammeter and two choke coils all in series connect an voltmeter in parallel to the circuit after the switch s close the switch s now note down the ammeter and voltmeter readings and substitute the value in the ohms law formula r is equal to vi now measure the total resistance of the series connected two choke coils directly using a multimeter compare the measured value from the multimeter with a calculated value and ensure they are approximately equal you could see the current value decrease due to increasing resistance according to ohms law let us measure the resistance of two coils connected in parallel take two choke coils each with 40 watts connect them in parallel connect the 12 volt battery 
a switch, an ammeter and parallel connected choke coils all in series. Connect an voltmeter in parallel to the circuit after the switch S. Close the switch S. Now note down the ammeter and voltmeter readings and substitute the value in the Ohm's law formula R is equal to V by I. Now measure the total resistance of two parallel choke coils connected directly using a multimeter. Compare the measured value from the multimeter with a calculated value and ensure they are approximately equal. You could see the current value decrease due to increasing resistance according to Ohm's law. Verify the calculated values from the given tabulation. Let us measure the impedance and inductance of the choke coil. Before that, let us know about the terms of impedance and inductance of the coil. Usually, in a DC circuit, there is only one opposition or loss, and that is the resistor. So, we use the formula I is equal to V by R. But in AC circuits, there are two oppositions or two losses known as resistance and reactance. Reactance occurs due to the phase difference between the voltage and current when AC power flows to an inductor, which is also called inductive reactance. Simply, when AC power flows to an inductor, current is lagging with voltage, also known as the lagging power factor. Due to this phase difference, there is a power loss called reactance, denoted by the letter X, and its unit is O. Inductive reactance can be denoted by XL, and the unit is Ohm. Inductive reactance can be given as XL is equal to 2 into pi into F into L. Inductance L can be found. L is equal to XL by 2 pi F. 3.14 can be the value of pi. The value of the frequency of the AC supply can be substituted in place of F and the value of the inductor in Henry can be substituted in. So, in AC circuits, both resistance and reactance are known as impedance. It is denoted by the letter Z and its unit is Ohm. Impedance Z can be written as Z is equal to V by I. For AC circuits, I can be written as I is equal to V by Z. Impedance can be given as. Let's discuss the inductance of a coil. The inductance of a coil refers to the electrical property the inductive coil that has to oppose any change in the current flowing through it. Inductance is only present in an electric circuit when a change in current occurs. Inductance can be denoted by the letter L and its unit is Henry. Let us discuss how to find out the impedance and inductance of a choke coil in practice. Connect an AC voltage source with 240 volts and 50 hertz of frequency with a switch a moving iron ammeter and a choke coil all in series. Connect an iron moving voltmeter ranging from 0 to 300 in parallel to the circuit after the switch S. Close the switch S. Note down the current and voltage values from ammeters and voltmeters respectively. Substitute the voltage and current in the formula Z is equal to V by I. Find XL 
from the impedance. Resistance value can be taken from tabulation 1 as we found earlier. Substitute the values of impedance and resistance in the formula. Find the value of inductance from XL. L is equal to XL by 2 pi F. Let us find the inductance of a choked coil connected in series and parallel. In the same circuit, replace the single choke coil with two choke coils that are connected in series. Close the switch and note the ammeter and voltmeter readings. Substitute the values in Z equal to V by I and impedance. Find the reactance XL by using the impedance value and corresponding resistance value R from tabulation 2. Find the value of L in XL. In the same circuit, replace the single choke coil with two choke coils that are connected in parallel. Close the switch S, note down the ammeter readings and find the impedance value. Find the value of the XL by substituting the impedance Z and the corresponding resistance R from tabulation 3. Find the value of L from XL. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.